Welcome back. <laughs> did we get caught then? We did. Just having a coffee. Yeah, and you've had about 18 party pies over the back there. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, now, can I just say from the outset, we've received a lot of uh, notification, Damo, people saying your comedic uh, talents no, no end, and you've done a great job sitting in for Billy so far. So. That's good, teacher. <laughs> uh, well done, mate. So as you've got that feedback. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's, it's been endless uh, yeah. via social media platforms, text messages, and the like. Have you been getting the same thing? Yeah. Certainly have. Okay. <laughs> He's been yeah. so funny today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Mr. Funny Man down there. This is no laughing matter for the Adelaide Crows, but the Giants, well, winners are grinners and losers can please themselves. Tell us about the grinners. A fer fierce, ferocious performance from the Giants yesterday. 67-point winners over the Adelaide Crows, who had been in reasonable form, but right from the start, the Giants were up for the fight. The only thing that let them down was their accuracy in the first quarter, kicking into a strong win. They kicked one goal eight, but one of their best players this year has been speedy defender by the name of Lockie Ash. He joins us. Lockie, thanks so much for your time and well done yesterday. No worries, thanks for having us. What Appreciate was your focus it. heading into that game? It, it looked like a significant statement from your midfield. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that we were collectively pretty disappointed with the way we ended the, the Bulldogs game last week. Um, and we went away from a few things that we pride ourselves on um, around the contest. So to get back to that this week was, um, was really good. Um, we were really pleased with the way we started and then to continue that for four quarters was also really pleasing. Yeah, early days it was, as I said, you were so inaccurate. One goal, eight in the first quarter. You're sitting back there across half-back. How frustrating was that? Um, yeah, a little bit, but as you said, there was a little bit of a breeze out there, so um, I was a bit more a bit worried that it might come back to haunt us a little bit later in the game, but the, the boys in the midfield were able to continue to dominate um, and, and it didn't seem to, to matter. We got away with it, mm. um, which was good. What's the key to your side, uh, playing and winning consistently, Lockie? Obviously, you were in it for three quarters against the Western Bulldogs, got blown away late, but is it, is it your inside mids dominating there? What are in the keys to finding greater consistency at the Giants? Yeah, I think it's just like our method around our contested ball um, and, the, and the attack we have on the ball around that contest. Um, I think we've probably had some balance issues where we've sort of been beast or honeypot earlier in the year, um, and then the Bulldogs, they sort of got on top of us inside. Um, last week. So just finding that balance around the contest um, I think helps us to, to get the ball moving forward and gives us the best opportunity to win. Take us behind the scenes. We know how fit Lockie Whitfield is. We know he works hard. Take us behind the scenes because he's out for a long time. Only plays three quarters of the game yesterday. Has 30 disposals and his running carry was outstanding as we've always expected but probably ahead of where we expected him back in his first game. Yeah, he's a um, supreme talent. He's a, he's a freak to be quite honest with you. Um, I often ask myself the same question, how he does it, but um, we always sort of joke that he just puts himself in a hurt locker um, when he runs out there, and we seen that again yesterday. Yeah, talk, <clears throat> talk about the fitness of Whitfield. Well, Jesse Hogan also has a massive work rate, so he, I know he's been to his third club and he's had his issues, but you lost Jeremy Cameron. Hopefully you can find someone with a bargain basement price, really, with Jesse Hogan, because you know, he's got talent and he works hard, Lockie, so hopefully he can get some luck now and uh, get things right off field. Yeah, definitely. Um, Jesse, he had an unbelievable pre-season where everyone in the club was really impressed with the way he came to the club and, and started the pre-season. He um, obviously had that little quad injury that, that set him back at probably the wrong time of the year, probably two weeks out from the start of the year where he was travelling really well and, and could have made it every in round one, to be honest. So we're thrilled to have him out there and he performed very well yesterday. So um, hopefully he continue that form um, and he'll be a big part of our side moving forward. Look, you signed a new contract yourself during the week. Clearly, the, the future uh, is bright in your eyes and, and vice versa from the, the Giants. You started your, your career last year in a, in a COVID situation. How are you finding that the freedom that this year has by way of a, a contrast? And do you feel at home now on a, an AFL venue? Hands clear and just... Yeah, definitely. Um, I probably... We, the first years we were probably a bit lucky last year. We didn't know we didn't know any different. Um, COVID was probably, but that's how we've seen football. So this year to experience it um, as a normal year has been really good, and I'm really enjoying playing my footy. Um, I think we've got a pretty young group in at the moment, um, and we're all buying in, and we're all, um, well, we've had a few wins, so we're really enjoying playing our footy at the moment. So it's been it's been really good. Let's take a look at the votes because I had some great players yesterday, the Giants. Set up by the midfield, Hopper's numbers were huge. Mumford has become one of their most important players, as we've spoken about. Josh Kelly returning to some form and just thought the X factor that Lockie Whitfield provided off the wing was significant, TJ. Certainly was. Hey, Lockie, thanks very much for your time this morning. Uh, we've got a stack of prizes coming your way. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether we've got uh, any artwork or anything that uh, you can put on the wall, but um, see if we can sort of chip in and get you something there. It's a little <laughs> sparse, mate, at the moment. <laughs> 
Yeah, it is. Um, I'm living by myself, so that's what happens when you're a teenager and live by yourself. <laughs> oh, Lockie, I, I feel bad now. Sad. Yeah. Sad. Well, we, we can do <laughs> nah, something nah. for you. All right, Lockie, uh, good on you, nah, mate. Thanks no, for him. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> nah, fine, mate. Uh, thanks very much for your time and all the best for the remainder of the season. We might talk again soon. All right. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having okay, me. Okay, thank you, Lockie Ash, joining us there. Good player. Good player. Yeah, good yeah. player and a good we'll young fellow. We'll become a midfielder. Too. He's playing half back at the yeah. moment, but we'll become a jet midfielder.